Hello my friends and welcome to episode 29 of the Mechanicus campaign. First thing we gotta do is change weapon loadout. A splash on the gravity gun was way too much for it to be a practical weapon. <clears throat> and so I, I could only fully appreciate the gravity of the situation once I had used the weapon. I realized that it sucked both literally and figuratively. <laughs> I would definitely rather take something else a little bit more practical. Maybe we should try out the arc gun. Or the solar atomizer, 8 to 10. For five, seven to nine for uh, for four. What's the machine spirit like on this? Three. And on this, also three. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I do like this, and I do like the fact that it reveals the enemy. We did use this previously and got caught short when incredibly armoured enemies turned up. And I couldn't do much about them. Still, it's potentially a good weapon. Okay, I think we're good. I have no desire to spend any blackstone at the moment because there is no point. I think these tech priests are as good as they realistically will get. So as it stands, I can't do any of the missions that I want to do because I've done them all. I've done all of uh, El Heretico's. Uh, missions and I've also done all of the boss missions so far so now I'm just gonna do missions that I like the look of the reward and I like the look of this reward so let's go you speak of your machine cleansing ritual What is to be done? All oh, right, we're going to use sacrificial ritual machines to purify this place. Okay, we gotta protect some boys. The life that in an ending, in its ending, forgives a lifetime of sin. Huh. What do we got? We have a lot, and I mean a lot of events. Plus one optional fight. Two empty rooms here, which we'll want to avoid. Uh, I don't actually realistically see a way to avoid them though, if you want to get everything. Because the only way to avoid them would be to go here, here, and here then here. But then you wouldn't be able to get down to these two. So realistically this empty room must be done if you want to get everything.
Hmm. I don't know what to do here. All of these look potentially bad. Let's go with this. Maybe I should have smashed it. Oh well. Whatever, these things happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the pain glyph. I think these are both bad. Oh well, whatever. Let's go. I have to go down here and then up here. Alright, sweet. Once again, two bad ones. Yeah, no way to avoid this room. If you want to get all the events. Or at least, if you want to have the option to get all the events. Okay, let the fight begin. Okay. We are just sort of kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. Deploy bait. It's gonna get four moves before I get a go. Should be okay. Ow! Oh, we dodged it. Good work. That could have been bad. Another critical. Jesus, these boys. I really need to kill him. Okay, I have an idea. I'll off at your melee attack. Oh yes. Okay, so... Let's aim for these two with the energy busting weapon. Nice! It's up the enemy is not the only ones getting criticals this day.
Nice! Scan this boy and find out what his situation is. Okay, high energy shielding. Right, let's be out of the way, shall we? We're still in danger here. We're not like out of the woods just yet. It is time for thrice blessed Prometheum. Burn them! Ha! He didn't quite have enough movement to catch me. Sweet. Uh, let's have a little think about what we want to be doing here. Hmm. Okay, so this may not seem like it makes sense, but it does. Trust me. <laughs> well, that wasn't... That wasn't expected, but I'll take it. I actually wanted to shoot and thus weaken both of these guys. Now what we do is we just park here so when this guy moves he should kill himself effectively. Okay, and we're good. Delay your turn. Nice. Okay, so these two will go, and so will this guy. I've got to break up this line of units doing whatever they want to me. That's pretty critical. So, let's do that. These tight arenas are really dangerous. Five to seven, can I kill him? Do I risk it? Hmm, if I don't kill him with this shot.
I really have no way of following up. In the words of Teal'c, this does not seem wise. So what I need to do is I need to actually maneuver in a particular way. That way I can get a little bit of extra damage in. Let's heal this boy. Why the machine spirit be whole again? bring out the servitors. Could have probably taken less risks by bringing them out on the first turn. I don't really feel like servitors are very useful against the Lich Guard. I think we'll be okay. What the hell? Oh wait, it's another Lich Guard. Okay, at least that one wasn't a critical hit. Burn! Burn in the righteous, purifying flame of Prometheum. Okay, so I need to get rid of him. Kill his armor. So what I want to do here is pull this Lich Guard away from this guy who is badly hurt so he can move freely. So even though this is unlikely to do any real damage. It will at least pull the Lich Guard away from the injured guy. Ha! He missed his counterattack. Awesome. I was expecting to take five-ish damage, but that was an acceptable situation for me. See, this guy cannot heal at this time. That's another Lich Guard. If I keep my distance, this is pretty awesome. You can get to work on lowering this guy's armor. Go! Nice, and he'll move now and be opportunity struck. 
and absorb it, but you know, whatever. Hmm. Do I push the boat out and really... Do I melee him? Okay, I've got an idea. Come this way. Good boy. If you want me, I'll be way, way, way over here. Okay, there's no more scanners or terminals or anything lying around, is there? Nope. I, I you know, I want to go in there and axe him, especially when the axe is on machine spirit mode, but a counter-attack right now could potentially be fatal. angry. Die. Die, you wretched Necron beast. One thing that's becoming clear to me is that I might want to get more healing options. That one heal per character might not actually be enough. Especially if you take a lot of abuse immediately. Alright, stand by. Okay. It looks to me like these boys need a nice big fat helping of thrice blessed Prometheum. I will I will be the one to deliver it. What is the machine spirit bonus? Extra damage. I will definitely take a counter-attack for this, if I do it this way. So I've decided to not do it that way. I'll do it like this. Burn. Um Okay, 
not a problem. Oh yeah, that look it hurt. Go. Nice. Twelve HP. Jesus, they've got so much health. He actually hurt me. Right, time to get out of there. Blessed is the tech priest that doesn't overstay his welcome. Damn it, they're spreading the damage around, it's really annoying. Because it means repairing it all before the next battle is going to be more annoying. What do you reckon, boys? Does he survive? Does he survive a full power melee? He does! It's definitely okay though, because he's undoubtedly got very little armor remaining now. So the next shot should be the one. Um, hmm. The next guy to get a go is the Lich Guard. So the Lich Guard is the one that I want to kill next. Let's, uh, if I can end it on this turn, that's great, because that saves me some Doomometer. I can worry about healing up on the next battle. I still don't know how much health this guy's got, though, that's the only thing. Oh! He ain't got much more now. Nice. Whew, that got hairy there. I think I should take away a valuable lesson about um, deploying my Zerglings when I'm surrounded like that. A couple of critical hits and I could have lost somebody. Yeah, okay. 
I think that's a good idea. That seems wise. <clears throat> okay, so in theory, the next battle that I should do is this one. Once you hit two on the Doomometer, it makes sense to just do battles to bring it down so you know where you are, Doom-wise. Let's go straight into the next battle. And we can know where we stand. Maybe we encounter that amazing map with a billion scanners. That would be awesome. One scanner. So many lich guards, Jesus. What is the correct move here? Okay, he goes first. There's no way he gets a shot if I just stay behind cover. Then this guy goes. Pretty much impossible to avoid taking a hit from him. So I say we park here. We take the hit from him. We break out. We kill this guy. We take this down. We kill this guy. And from the high ground we've got out here, here and here. So we can deal with the lich guards as they close in. Go. Oh shit. <laughs> Mother of God. The order of battle has totally changed now. Ow. Oh my god, there are so many. <laughs> the machine gods behold again okay we don't want to hit the lich guards because when we hit them they'll move stick to the plan Kill this boy. Just avoid the Lich Guards and take out the Immortals. We should be good. This game is out from my blood.
I would love to give all of these boys a big fat helping of thrice blessed Prometheum. But I must be very careful about how I do it. Because I can only do it from maximum range. Like here. interested in trying to kill lich guards yet. Just giving them the run around while I take care of the actually dangerous immortals and their snipey bullshit. Let's find out what the status of this boy is. Energy shielded and lots of hit points. Oh, not good. Okay. It's fine. So many of these Lich Guards. I'd almost be tempted to sneak between these two and hide down here. And hack that guy to death. That's definitely a risk too far. Another good hit. All right, leg it. So many Lich Guards, my god. Just can't damage them easily. Nice. Sadly, I killed it in one go, so I can't actually poke it for three cognition. And then I was going to use my claw to finish it. So... Whoops. Okay, we got ourselves out of a potentially sticky situation. Yeah, that's right. You burn. Oh, I thought for a minute then that another section of map was going to appear with even more of them and I was going to be like, oh... I don't think he has a shot up the stairs. I feel like the immortals actually struggle to shoot upstairs. Ok, 
Okay. Wow. Look at all that. How I would love to burn and eat that village. That's right, you burn. You burn. Okay, I've got an idea. Try and lure this one in. him to move up and be opportunity struck. Okay, it's time to execute. Operation be somewhere else. need to actually do this now. So I can see precisely where I can hit them all from. Guy with 2 HP but plenty of melee armor. Guy with only 14 HP. No way to get past him without taking a hit. I'm going to take a hit here, but I think it's worth it. Nice! That was not expected. I just wanted to de-armor him, that was all. Can only kill him with the axe. Which is okay. Killing him with the axe is fine. Feels slightly like a waste, but.
Okay, let's poke this guy back. I want to get that shot off for free. So I am going to use my uh, Cognizance Restoration here. Moving forward will cost me a point, so I can't really use this to clear out the bodies, but that's alright. Sweet. Happy with that. Next man to evacuate. Shame I can't evacuate directly. I cannot get surrounded by uh, by lich guards. It's just not acceptable. It's nice to clean up the bodies as well, and then it gets rid of the markers from the uh, the turn turn counter turn a meter. You know, even if I had that like super area of effect gravity gun, and I just grabbed all these guys, the lich guards have got so much armor. You're not going to actually do a huge amount of damage to them. attacked to death. You can burn them all you want. But it's not necessarily going to do enough damage to kill them. Go! Nice. Okay, his health is critical. Three HP. Still got five melee armor though. Um, hmm. I think the old five melee armor ensures that I get nothing done here. Unless I use a canticle of restoring my uh, cognizance, but that feels like it might be a bit of a waste. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is going to suck. So let's not do that. The ang the ango the ango the angle is too shallow. I guess from this angle I can't even hit this boy. Oh, I can. Nice. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, he's got no melee! He's one of these special boys that's got no melee defense. Let's cut him into chunks. Nice. Oh, I dodged it. Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. I had my healing move ready. I was just going to tank it. Ranged weapons are disabled in melee. But apparently, the, the flamethrower is not considered to be a ranged weapon. It's considered to be a melee weapon. So I can actually barbecue this sorry guy into the next life. If it so pleased me. It's either that or I skip the turn and let, let my other man handle it. Save the uh, cognition. I did not realize. Six to eight. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Oh, I low rolled that. He's still dead, though. See, tried to move. That was his first mistake. Alright, so we have one immortal and three lich guards remaining. Oh, that armor is nasty. Wow, look at the range on this weapon, it's amazing. Nice! I'm gonna use the axe here. I don't know if it charges the machine spirit or not. Whatever. It will do. Once the immortal is dead, we can just kite the uh, the lich guards. I wonder if I lure this guy past my allies, will it be enough to kill him? He's got seven melee defense, so... It's 
it strikes me that that may be a bad idea. Whack. Um... I'm not sure whether I should really just take a cognitive freedom. Charge that up. Man, this is tricky. Okay, my free shot is ready. Nice work. Uh, if I pull away, I can then take my free shot. I'm pretty sure I can heal myself as well. Ow, that hurt a lot. Fortunately, I have very powerful healing powers. Who knew that these guys would be so hard to kill? Oh, we low rolled! Is he close enough? No, he's not close enough. Good. The low rolling is real. Oh well, you won't survive this. Okay, and then there were three. Wow, this battle has taken so long. Okay, uh, maybe not you. Could head on up there and burn the village down. I say we head on up there and burn the village. I, I must admit, I didn't realize that the flamethrower was uh, considered to be a melee weapon. So you can... Um,
give someone a righteous burning. And it's totally fine. Hmm, this Lich Guard actually has not got good, um... He does not have good, uh, melee defense, so I can potentially get them both. All right, it counts as. I keep saying this. It counts as a melee weapon, so I can just get in here. Ha! Hilarious. I was expecting to take damage and have to repair it. That turned out not to be the case. He should take an opportunity strike while he's at it. Trying to save my canticles here for a future battle if I need them. Somewhere around here there is an angle. Quite what I want. Oh, what an effort this weapon is. Yes. I must seek further illumination. Do I burn him? Do I run? If I run, he's, he sh will just turn around and chase after this guy. Three to five, I'm not gonna kill him. Even when he burns next turn. Stand by. Uh, okay, cool. I thought I've robbed all the cognition off the map. I have not. primary consideration here. Nice. Anything but a low roll would be fine.
Okay, I'm gonna take one more turn no matter what. Okay. Delay your turn. So, we burn and ate both of them, and this guy dies from an opportunity strike. Opportunity knocks, bitch. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way I can get him without getting my ally in the process. So... Let's just stand by on that. past my ally and hopefully if he's not melee resistant he'll take a load of damage well this weapon will reveal to me whether he is melee resistant or he's energy resistant. Okay, he is melee resistant. Most of them are, but some of them occasionally are energy resistant. That's easy enough to deal with. great part about this weapon is that it just slowly strips away energy defense. So even if they are energy resistant, they're still going to die. Four to six, what are the odds? That we low roll and he lives. No, oh, he done. He did. We win. Jesus, what a fight. What a fight that was. Alright. I guess we need a break. <laughs> but what an epic fight that was. Okay, so we're already up to uh, three doom. So I guess we need to go here and then do the optional battle, which almost always the optional battle reduces the doom meter, so that is the next step. I'll just put myself in a position to do that. And then depending on how much doom we get, we'll either have to finish the map or we'll have to, uh, or we'll have the option to go down here and do events. 
totally depends on how much doom there is. Well, they're both good. Let's go with this one. Ah, should have taken money. Oh well, whatever. Um, yup, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.